All right, y'all. Peace and blessings. God bless you all. I'm Jarvis Kingston, and I hope that y'all doing all right and staying strong and solid in these times that we're in. I pray that you have repented and that you are baptized. I pray that you are safe, protected, and prayed up. And I just pray that whatever situation that you're going through, that the Lord is with you, that he guides you, protects you, he looks out for you, he comforts you. I pray that your mental health gets better and that you become more strong and wise in the Lord. I pray that you keep fighting a good fight of faith. You keep running your race. You keep your eyes fixed on the prize. You keep your eyes fixed on the Messiah. You stay on that narrow path and you help out plenty of people along your journey forevermore. Amen. Most definitely, y'all. Let us thank the Lord for another day. Let us thank the Lord for waking us up and giving us another chance to seek his face. Let us thank the Lord for food in our belly, clothes in our back, and a roof over our head. Let us thank the Lord for protecting us coming in and going out and just getting us through the morning, getting us through the evening, getting us through the night. Just got to thank him and stay grateful for his grace, his mercy, his favor, his love, his outstretched arm, his mighty hand, the finger of God, just everything. His word, his only begotten son died for our sins, you know. There's so much things the Most High has done for us that we can't keep count of. So we have to stay grateful and appreciate it. Take it one day at a time. Your situation may not be the best right now, but you have to stay patient and trust in the Lord through it all. He will never leave you nor forsake you. Amen. Most definitely, y'all. Thank you all for listening. Support, it means a lot to me. I love you all. I'm praying for you all, okay? So let's always uplift each other in Christ. Let's always encourage each other in the Lord forevermore. And let's always have that unity, brothers and sisters in the faith, all four corners of the earth. We are scattered all four, all ends of the earth, but we can still serve the same creator and always support one another. Amen. Most definitely, y'all. Welcome, everyone. All peoples, all nations, all tribes, all languages, all tongues, all races, all faces, all four corners of the earth, all kindreds. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Yes, most definitely. All the animals, all the trees, all the beasts, all the fish of the sea, all the birds in the air, the mountains, the plants, everything that has breath praise the Lord. Let's creation praise him. Amen. Most definitely, y'all. Whether you are an Israelite or a Gentile, it is all right. Whether you are chosen or adopted, it is all right. Let us gather together and praise him. Sing a new song, clap our hands, stomp our feet, play an instrument, cry out to him, rejoice, everything, y'all. Worship in spirit and truth and serve him with gladness and joy. Amen. Most definitely, y'all. Let us love the Lord our God for our mind, heart, soul, strength, and might. Let us love our neighbor as we love ourselves. And let us keep doing Father's business and Father's will for the rest of our lives until the sun comes back. Amen. He has come back like a thief in the night. He has come back at an hour nobody knows but the Father, and he has come back for a people who are ready to go, spotless, blameless, no spot, no wrinkle, no blemish, no filth, no abomination, no detestable thing can enter the new Jerusalem. So let us be washed up by the water, by the word, and keep our lamps and our oils, amen? Most definitely, God, stay sober, vigilant, and alert, people. We just have to, okay? Let us know the Lord better and get more close to him. Draw near to God, he will draw near to you. And let us always obey the gospel, Obey the word of God, obey the law, stage commandments, and whatever the Most High told you personally through dreams or visions or prophesied to you or confirmed affirmations to you, whatever the Most High told you personally, according to your life, your future, your calling, your purpose, or your current situation, obey that as well and honor that, all right? Handle your part, handle Father's business, amen? Get to it, amen? Yes, yes, y'all. So I'm glad you all are here to listen. Hope that you all stand strong and taking it one day at a time, okay? Now, today's message, I'm going to go through this commentary within the book of Deuteronomy. And then from there, we'll close out with a prayer. We'll close out with a priestly blessing. And we'll close out giving all the praise, honor, and glory to the Most High God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And praise the only begotten Son, death for our sins. Amen. Hallelujah. So here we go. Here we go with the commentary. Today's Bible reading, the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 6, verses 1 through 9. Recommended reading, the book of Mark, chapter 12. Verses 28 through 34, the book of John, chapter 14, verses 15 through 21, and also the book of First John, chapter 4, verses 7 through 21. The title of this commentary is Glorifying God. An airplane is meant to fly, a car is built to be driven, and clothes are designed to be worn. You would have very little use for a plane that would not fly, a car that would not move, or clothes that can no longer be worn. Why? Because their purpose is not being realized. It's a great frustration to have things that are no longer useful. God must feel that way about us sometimes. You were designed to know him, not simply to have a comfortable life. You were not created just to get married, have children in a successful career, then grow old and enjoy retirement. These are some of life's benefits. It's side dishes, not its main, not its main purpose. 
The tragedy today is that we have taken life's benefits and tried to make them our purpose. We're trying to make the side dishes the main course. The result is that we often find the benefits very unsatisfactory. No wonder. So if the purpose of life is not marriage, success, happiness, or any of that, what is it? What were we created for? Answer, we were created to know and worship God with all consuming passion. That's it. That's why Paul tells us to do everything to God's glory. Bringing glory to something means to put it on the mantle where it can be admired. A woman seeks glory when she decorates her home in such a way that guests say, wow, where do you get that? She puts a special treasure on display so that when people see it, they are in awe. That's what we're supposed to do for God. We're supposed to display him in such a way that people are awed by him. Glorifying God means to make him look good, to place him on display so that when others see our lives, they are in awe of our God. Even in the everyday stuff, your goal should be to make God look good. But I could tell you, it takes real passion to live like that. To anyone who is trying to know and serve God half-heartedly without passion, I think Paul would say, why bother? If you're going to seek God, go for it like you mean it. Quote Tony Evans. Amen. Things to take away from the commentary. Have you been tempted to seek your joy in the benefits of life? How have they proved unfulfilling? Why is it important to glorify God? How can you glorify God in practical ways in your everyday life? Yes, yes, that is the end of the commentary right there. You know, glorifying God. It's very important on how we always keep him first and center everything around him. He's always the center of our lives. You know, a lot of times we get so occupied and distracted by things of the world and, and people tend to idolize it or put that first. But, you know, God is a jealous God, you know, so he wants all the glory, all the attention, all of that. And that's how we should honor him and live for him. You know what I'm saying? Through his word and through action as well, not just verbally. Amen. So let us have better habits, better routines, better choices that are always centered around glorifying God and pleasing to him. All right, because we have to stop living so fleshly and stop just living for ourselves and stop living for the approval of the people. We have to always do everything for God and for him only, okay? Now, that's the end of the commentary right there. I hope that we can all apply this to our lives and actionize it, okay? So what I love to do as I close out is give all the praise, honor, and glory to the most high God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and praise his only begotten son who died for our sins, amen? Hallelujah, y'all. So here we go. Hallelujah, praise him. He is the God of heaven and earth, the God of Adam, the God of Shem, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Most definitely the God of Israel, the God of Noah, Daniel, Job. We touch and agree most definitely. Yes, he is excellent. He is awesome. Son is the last Adam, the second Adam. Praise the Lord, the advocate, the almighty true living God, the Alpha and Omega. Amen. The apostle of our profession, the armor of the Lord, the atonement sacrifice for our sins, the author and finisher of our faith, the author and perfecter of our faith, the author of life, the author of salvation, the beginning and the end, the beginning of creation of God, the beloved son, the blessing only potent, the blessing only ruler, the branch, the bread of God, the bread of life, the bridegroom, the capstone, the captain of salvation, the chief cornerstone, the chief shepherd, Christ, the Christ of God, the consolation of Israel, the cornerstone, the counselor, Wonderful Counselor, the Creator, the Dayspring, the Deliverer, the Desire of the Nations, the Door, the Elect of God, Emmanuel, the Eternal Life, the Everlasting Father, the Faith and True Witness, Faithful and True, the Faithful Witness, the First and the Last, the First Begotten, the First Born from the Dead, First Born over all creation, the Forerunner, the Gate, the Glory of the Lord, God, the Good Shepherd, the Great High Priest, the Great Shepherd, the Head of the Church, the Heir of all things, the High Priest, Holy and True, the Holy One, the Hope, the Hope of Glory, the Horn of Salvation, the I Am, the I Am that I Am, the I Am who I Am, the Great I Am, the, yes, yes, the Image of God, Jehovah, Jehovah, Jireh, Jehovah, Shalom, Jesus of Nazareth, Jesus, the Judge of Israel, the Judge, King Eternal, He is the King of Israel, Amen. Yes, yes, Jehovah, King of Israel, amen. The King of Kings, hallelujah. He is the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords. Hosanna, Hosanna, highest. King of Saints, King of the Ages, King of the Jews, the King, the Lamb, the Lamb of God, the Lamb without blemish, the last Adam, the lawgiver, the leader and commander, the life, the life of the world, the lion of the tribe of Judah, the living one, the living stone, the Lord, the Lord, our righteousness, the Lord is my portion, the Lord is my strength, the Lord is my rock, the Lord is my salvation, the Lord is my deliverer, the Lord is my redeemer, the Lord is my refuge, the Lord is my salvation, my strength. Yes, he is my song, most definitely. He is our everything, y'all, our high tower, the sufficient one, the sustainer. The Lord is my buckler. Yah, 
Yahweh, Yahuwah, Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Be Yahweh, Yahweh Yeshai, Yeshua Hamashiach, Barak Atha, Shalom, Ram Shalom, Yeshua Elohim, Yehosha, Yehosha, Yeshua. Yes, yes, he is a high Yeshaya. He is the consuming fire. Most definitely, y'all. Yahuwah Elohim, praise him. He is the God of heaven and earth. His son sits at the right hand of him. The government rests on his shoulders. He is the great physician can heal all things. He's the carpenter can fix all things. With God, all things are possible. Nothing is too hard for the Lord. God made everything in six days and rest on the seventh day. He could fix your situation right now in the name of Jesus. We touch and agree with his outstretched arm, his mighty hand of fear in God. Just like that. His time and perfect time and due time. And yes, yes, people. Faith, faith is what pleases him, y'all. Call on the name of the Lord. And he will show you great mighty things, y'all. He is the consuming fire. Amen. We have his fire inside of us, y'all. Fire shut up in your bones about this. Amen. Got to call on him, people. We got to cry out to him, people. He is near to the brokenhearted. He is near to the brokenhearted, y'all. Cry out to him. Yes, he is the Lord of all, the Lord of glory, the Lord of lords, the man from heaven, the man of sorrows, the mediator of the new covenant, the mediator, the messenger of the covenant, the Messiah, the mighty God, the mighty one, the morning star, the Nazarene, the offspring of David, the only begotten Son of God, our great God and Savior, our holiness, our spiritual husband, our Passover, our protection, our redemption, our righteousness, our sacrifice, the Passover lamb, the power of God, the precious cornerstone, the prince of kings, the prince of life, the prince of peace, the prophet, the redeemer, the resurrection and life, the resurrection, the resurrector, the life, the revelation, the revelator, the righteous branch, the righteous one, the radiant one, the perfect example, the rock, the root of David. He is the perfect example. Yes, the rose of Sharon, the rule of God's creation, the rule of the kings of the earth, the savior, the seed of woman, the shepherd and bishop of souls, the Shiloh, the son of Abraham, the son of David, the son of God, the son of man, son of the blessed, son of the most high God, the source of eternal salvation for all who obey him, the son of righteousness, the just one, the one mediator, the stone the builders rejected, the true bread, the true God, the true light, the true vine. Yes, he is the truth. Amen. He is the way. Hallelujah. He is the way to the life. Praise him. The wisdom of God, the witness, the wonderful counselor, the word, the word of God, the word of life, the word of Yahuwah, the word of Elohim, the word of Yeshua Hamashiach, the word of Yahawashai, the word of Yehosha, Yehosha, Yeshua. Yes, his word is purified silver, just as David said. His word is a double-edged sword, as the book of Hebrews says as well. Amen. We touch and agree, y'all. We are in agreement with the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. So there you have it, y'all. All right. His son is excellent for dying for our sins. His blood definitely clean up our mess. Amen. He is the seed of Abraham, promise, the seed of Adam, humanity, the seed of David, kingship, the seed of God, deity, the seed of Jacob, nationality, the seed of Judah, tribe, the seed of Shem, race, the seed of woman, prophecy. I mean, we touch and agree. In the authority and the power and name of Jesus Christ, you are healed, renewed, restored, redeemed, forgiven, embraced, loved. New mind, new heart, new soul, new hands to prosper, new footsteps, new path, new journey, new dreams, new songs to sing, new visions, new encounters, new life, new beginnings, new seasons, fresh starts, new news, renewed strength. All right, heart of flesh, not a heart of stone, people. Come on now. Renewed hearts, renewed minds, everything renewed, transformation, change, repentance, healing, deliverance, restoration, baptism, all that double portion blesses from now on. In Jesus' name, we touch and agree. I just pray to God that whoever lists this message, I pray that you repent and get baptized, start your life over for the most high. You turn from your ways, you turn away from your sins, and you stand on your path forever. Keep following the Messiah and let him keep pouring out his love towards you all day long. You just stay in his presence. Amen. Yes, yes, y'all. So there you have it. All right. That's the word for today. What I would love to do as I close out is give y'all the priestly blessing on the way out. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Shalom. I'm Jarvis Kingston. Love you all. Pray for you all. Peace.